Hello, friends. Let's read the third story in Mouth Soup by Arnold Lobel. Now the mouse is telling these stories to the weasel so that he can make the mouse, the mouse soup. So this is the third story, the crickets. One night a mouse woke up. There was a chirping sound outside her window. What is that noise? asked the mouse. What did you say? asked a cricket. I cannot hear you and make my music at the same time. I want to sleep, said the mouse. I do not want any more music. What did you say? asked the cricket. You want more music? I will find a friend. Soon there were two crickets chirping. I want you to stop the music, said the mouse. You are giving me more. <laughs> what did you say? asked the cricket. You want more music? We will find another friend. Soon there were three crickets chirping. You must stop the music, said the mouse. I am tired. Oh, I cannot take much more. What did you say? asked the cricket. You want much more music? We will find many friends. They're very accommodating when they think that she wants more music. They're just not the greatest listeners, huh? Soon there were 10 crickets chirping. Stop, cried the mouse. Your music is too loud. Loud, asked the cricket. Yes, we can chirp loud. So the 10 crickets chirped very loud. <laughs> Do you think she ended up getting any sleep that night? I think not. Oh, please, shouted the mouse. I want to sleep. I wish that you would go away. Go away, asked the cricket. Why did you say so in the first place? We will go away and chirp somewhere else, said the 10 crickets. They went away and chirped somewhere else. And the mouse went back to sleep. Wow, that was a curveball for me. I didn't think she was gonna get any sleep and then here, she's snoozing, snoozing. Off they go. They look like the, the Radio City Rockettes. <laughs> the end of that story from Mouse Soup by Arnold Lowell. We'll read the fourth story tomorrow.